You might think that computer science is all about writing programs, creating apps for users, but actually a great deal of the science behind computer science is about what happens to those programs in order to get them executing on real hardware and actual computing systems. So this involves compilation, which is the process of turning high-level source code into computer understandable machine code. Most compilers, the programs that do this translation, use a particular representation for their programs called static single assignment. I spent three years of my life working on static single assignment form and other similar representations during my PhD. And in fact, one of the algorithms that I use there is now um, implemented in the LLVM compiler infrastructure. Since then, I've been thinking not so much about the process of translating high-level source code into machine code, but about how you help programs or assist programs during their execution. This is the language runtime environment. And one of the key issues during language runtime is something called garbage collection, which sounds rather dirty, but actually is a very necessary process. What happens is that programs generate gigabytes of data every second, and if they were just to leave all this data behind them as they execute, then the machines would exhaust their RAM very quickly. So the garbage collection process is what trawls through the memory and finds data you don't need anymore and then disposes of that data so the memory is available for other programs or for your continuing executing program to use that memory. You'll find that almost all web browsers and language runtime systems implement high performance garbage collectors today. And some of these algorithms are things that we're researching and actively developing here at Glasgow University. Here's another problem to think about. Perhaps your program might be executing on several different machines. It's a distributed program. How do you know which parts of the program you want to run on each particular device that's networked together inside your system? So this is a problem that we're tackling with our AnyScale app research project funded by the EPSRC and the idea here is that there's an optimum place for every part of your program to execute if only you knew where the optimum place was. Think about Goldilocks and the porridge. So sometimes it's too hot, sometimes it's too cold, sometimes it's just right and the idea is you want to find just the right porridge or in our case just the right place for the program to execute to make appropriate use of the resources. This is our AnyScale Apps project, which we are working on with funding from the UK EPSRC funding body. Finally, we're looking at low power compute devices. The idea here is that you can run machines entirely on solar power or other renewable energy sources. And so effectively, you're computing for free where playing around with Raspberry Pis as prototyping devices to make micro-scale data centers that you can run on renewable power, perhaps for remote locations, or maybe just in order to save energy in large organizations. This is the Federated Raspberry Pi Micro Infrastructure Testbed Project, FRUIT for short, which again has been funded by EPSRC and is going to be running till 2019. So with all these projects to keep us busy, we've got loads of fun stuff to do. And this research is really exciting and cutting edge and has lots of interest from local industry as well as other academic users.